All right, guys, we are back with another video. Um, I'm pretty sure you know by the title, um, I have officially bagged the, the Z. Um, I hope the wind noise is not too bad. I just tried to find a spot, like a long, empty road where I can, you know, just kind of show you guys everything around again. So, I have been bagged now for about, uh, I'd probably say six months or so. Um, bagged on airlift, airlift, um, 3P, did everything myself, bought it used. This is currently my ride height. Um, I try to ride as low as possible. Uh, the, the fronts are kind of aggressive, um, so I can't ride too, too low because I rub everywhere. Nothing has really changed. Um, still waiting on a couple more parts to come in to make another video but the install was actually pretty easy it's just like doing coils if you've never done coils um, it's just literally three bolts in the front no four in the front um, one two three four in the back and you got that done and then the wiring um, it's pretty simple I got everything wired under the car well for my airlines and then <clears throat> all the electrical is run through, well, the convertible, oh my God. So I had to pretty much semi open the, the, the convertible top and then cut a hole in my trunk. I'll show you my trunk setup. Uh, it's probably a little dirty in here. Yeah, I got my camera right here. So That's pretty much my trunk setup. I put, uh, took out the spare and then, um, I did a wooden board on the bottom to make everything level and then black carpet looking things and then um, my little plywood with plexiglass and then I wrapped all the wires black that way it's kind of hard to see and then I mean that's pretty much it it's really simple it's not perfect um, you know there's gaps and stuff but it just it moves around when I drive and then pretty much back here I had to drill a hole run the electrical through there um, through the soft top on the bottom had to drill another hole came through under my glove box and then ouch all through here and then in through the, the firewall or the grommet thing um, but let me show you guys it with aired out let's see so I pretty much run Right around 60 in the top, in the front, because I mean, look at that. There is no room to play. I mean, I rub, but I mean, it's just on like big bumps and stuff. So let's go ahead and air out and see what that looks like. And so this fitment, it's pretty much fender to lip. I know my wheels are kind of fucked, but and I, I'm. Let me redo my, my calipers. I am running a 10 mil, um, two, two fives put together. Um, they did clear my big brakes. So with this current setup I have now with the Volks, it's a 10 and a half squared. And so this is originally the rear, um, but um, I put the front face on like one of the extra rears I had and it made it stupid aggressive. And so um, so I put that in the back and, the, and it looks, and it's pretty stinking good. Um, that's with no spacer. So, you know, this is pretty aggressive um, with no spacer in fact, with uh, about negative three camber. And then, uh, I mean, that's pretty much it. I did the trunk setup myself for fun. Costs about, you know, 60 bucks. Um, I do have another set of wheels I'll have to put on and show you guys. But if you follow my Instagram, um, you know, I've been posting that for, gosh, six months now. So, she's coming along, guys. She's looking pretty. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions, uh, just let me know. I mean, I would, <laughs> I would take everything apart. Like, maybe if I take, uh, switch off my wheels, um, I'll, I'll show you, you know, kind of more in depth of how to change everything. Looking nice though. 
and then oh I'll have to make another video of what I'm building in my garage as well so I can start having a little bit more fun but that's it guys uh, let me know if you have any questions about it it was right when I first bought the airlift I bought it used um, there was a guy online in the 350z forum um, he's like selling airlift for 800 bucks no 700 bucks and so I thought it was a scam I was like hey man are you gonna do PayPal goods and services he's like yeah I'll like, shoot okay I'll buy it he's like it's a hundred bucks for shipping so I was like okay 800 bucks for airlift so I said yeah and so I mean I got it maybe a week later I couldn't believe it and it, it runs fucking awesome um, I don't really uh, air up for speed bumps unless I know they're there um, you know it's kind of too late if you don't know where exactly you're going but I guess that's just the fun in it there are different settings to it uh, I have a low one which I always ride on medium height which I are the roads that I don't really know and then my high is just to get out of my driveway or if I'm if I have a passenger Let me guys let me guys, let me let me know what you guys think. Um, I fell back in love with my car again. I think I was almost pretty much done with it. Like I, I never would have thought I would have went airlift, but the deal was too good. So I sold I sold my uh, my coilovers for 700 bucks. So I mean I pretty much got it back for free or you know even but let me let me uh, know what you guys think I love it I mean I need to definitely change the wheels or change the color I mean these are my favorite wheels of all time but I I've had them for oh gosh three four years now I'm hoping to change the color here soon or maybe uh, slap on my other wheels I haven't posted the wheels on my YouTube channel yet, but if you follow my Instagram, uh, I mean, they look awesome. They're they're pretty much just as aggressive as these. I won't tell you yet, because I want to make a little video of it, so. All right, guys, well, I'll see you next time. I have, I have more stuff coming, so. Gotta hold it down for the Vert Gangs. I'll see you next video. Peace.